What's going on guys? Tua Cruz here. Today's gonna be kind of a little mix vlog. We'll be doing a little product review and we'll also be doing a little life update. So this company reached out to me recently, Craft Cadence, and they make cycling bags. So we'll be doing a little review today about this product. This is a fully waterproof cycling backpack, which is awesome because this is exactly what I need. As I've mentioned on this channel, I'll be starting a new job soon. And actually, for most of my jobs throughout most of my life, I've always commuted by bicycle, but the distance has always been maybe one kilometer to five kilometers max, so I never really had to commute very far, and I never really needed to use a very nice backpack. I usually use my work bag, which is a Timbuktu, kind of one of those shoulder bags. Uh, some other bags I have, this is my regular bag that you see on the channel often when we do our cycling rides, and this is really nice, it's nice and lightweight and I can carry all the stuff that I need in here. It's got a lot of convenient packs in some different areas that you can hold things in. One disadvantage of this bag though is it's not waterproof, so whenever it rains I kinda can't really use this or I have to just put everything in plastic bags in the inside, so not a great option. My other bag that I have is this super dry Japan outdoor kind of fake bag that I bought while I was in Hanoi in Vietnam because these things are super cheap there and yeah this thing's fully waterproof it's pretty great but it's not comfortable at all you can see these are really flimsy little back um, straps and there's no cushion here on the back so it is waterproof yes but it is extremely uncomfortable especially when this thing is packed so I don't really like this bag very much but I do like the color nice and red so that brings us back to this bag. This new bag is awesome. I'm super excited for it. It just came in the mail. I just opened it up and we'll be going for a nice test ride. It's actually really late right now. It's late. It's Sunday night and, and I'll be getting up early tomorrow morning to go for a ride to go to the immigration office here in Nagoya. So I need to go and work on my visa application for my new visa. So that's why I said today's kind of a mix of a product review and a life update so I'm filming this part tonight before I go to bed and then I'm gonna go to bed and hopefully get up really quick and leave and go out of my ride and we'll test this thing out on the road but before we do that let's take a look at it from the outside while we're here in the studio so you can see it's a nice bright yellow bag here it's got the logo on here so the company again is Craft Cadence and on the back here it also says this is IPX5 waterproof so that means this thing is super waterproof. It can pretty much withstand a typhoon and not get wet. I've seen people spraying this bag with a hose from the upside down and it didn't really get wet. So yeah, up in the front here, there's a nice little waterproof pouch, which you can store some of your flat little small valuables, maybe your cell phone, maybe your wallet and things that you wanna grab really quickly. Um, usually these kinds of pockets aren't exactly 100% 100% waterproof, but good enough for most things here. Some reflective materials here, you can see on the side, on the bottom here in the back, and on the side here. A pretty smooth profile, so again, waterproof materials. There's no extra things on here, there's no extra side straps for you to put your bottles, no extra things or hooks on the back side here. Uh, but there is one little hook here on the front where you can maybe hang like a, a light, I think would be the most appropriate use for this small little hook. Uh, the bottom has a nice little protection area here so you don't have to worry about dropping this bag on rough surfaces, it'll be protected. Flipping to the back side, arguably one of the more important parts of the bag. This is different from previous designs, so this is an updated model of this backpack. And we have the mesh section here, which is divided into two different main lines so you can see there's a section down the middle where there's complete breathability and there's also some holes and grooves in here as well so when you use these cycling bags when you go for a long commute you're going to be sweating so we want to try and reduce that as much as possible so this looks really comfortable i'm used to the rough ride and i'm looking forward to the more cushion some more mesh here on the actual straps you can see the holes here and these we've got some hooks here so we can hook on some different things that we need and these are also reflected, so that's nice. And we got our main hooks here, so the main hook. Actually, let's uh, cut this on real quick. This might be the easiest way to do this. So we've got our normal chest strap here. We can tighten this. We've got some hooks here. And these are adjustable, so we can move this up or down as we need. That's pretty great. And here we go. This is the more bottom section, so if we can tighten these. How do I look? This is my new chair, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the channel yet. Nice bright and yellow bag. Feels pretty comfy. So next, let's check the inside. And actually, before we do that, we gotta check out the top section here. So you can see we've got these two straps. And this sort of unfolds like a normal 
waterproof bag and opens up. So to close this, we've got this little Velcro section here and Velcro straps here. So we want to roll this tightly. Gets on the Velcro straps like that. Roll it down as much as you can. Obviously there's nothing in this bag right now. So there's nothing to really um, push against. But once you roll that down, we can put these straps on, tighten them if needed, but there's nothing in this bag right now. There we go. So actually I have to open that up again. Let's take a look at the inside. So this thing is actually 30 liters inside. You can see pretty massive, just nice wide open full area. There are some sections that can be separated. The divider sections in here are actually completely detachable. We can pull this thing out and right here we've got some Velcro liner. We've got some Velcro liner on the other side. So that's how this thing stays in place. You can store things on the outside of this. So if you want to add your water bottle in here, you can store it on the side and keep it away from your valuables that you want to make sure are dry. And the inside here we've got three main sections. One is for your laptop, for your books, for your papers, things that you want to keep flat. And there's a nice little Velcro thing to keep those in place. There's our main giant section here so we can store our clothes, we can store our bike tools, we can store our shoes if you ride with your shoes. And then on the other side we've got a little zipper here. We can store some of our valuables, maybe our wallet and things that we want to make sure don't move around in here. So this is pretty great. So that thing is completely optional. We have the whole bag here again, and this is just basically a giant empty bag that you can store things however you want. So it's up to you how you want to use this. I, however, will be using this. So let's put this back inside. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I don't have much else to say about this bag right now because I haven't used it yet, but I'm super excited to ride with this tomorrow. But first, I'm really tired, so I'm going to be going to bed, and we'll check back with you guys in one minute. Good morning, guys. We're back on the road. It's freezing right now, about zero degrees, and we're on our way towards immigration right now. I've got my new bag right on here. We're on the Yadagawa, the Yada River cycling path. We'll be cutting through Nagoya, going all the way around, over the north, over the west, down to the south, to the port. We're just going all the way around to avoid the city traffic, and we can mostly go on this path for most of the way, but there are some sections where this path gets a little rough. It's pretty interesting to see the people out here in the morning. There's uh, some people practicing on their unicycles right now, which is pretty interesting. So far so good, the bag feels really comfortable. It's fully loaded up, I've got my big heavy lock in there and it feels really comfortable so far. Anyway, we'll give final impressions once we arrive at immigration. So we've made it to immigration, bags holding up well. I've got my tights on, which are a little bit embarrassing in here, so I'm gonna change real quick, apply for my new visa, and we'll see how it goes. Finished up with immigration, and gonna start heading home now. Actually, kind of a bit nostalgic coming here because we were here about a year ago when we had to work on Tung's visa to get her spousal visa for her to be here. Today, I'm working on getting my new visa for my new work visa. For my last job, I was on a professor visa or a Kyoju visa, which is kind of like a higher status visa in a way, but also it's kind of a bad visa because it limits you to only being able to work at university. So you can't even teach it like a normal English school with that visa. They really limit you to only working at universities, which of course that work is limited. And now I'm changing industries. I mentioned I'm changing to a cycling industry job. So I'll be using a lot of Japanese. I'm switching to a humanities, engineering, and international kind of business kind of visa. It's kind of like a jack of all trades visa. 
and it kind of lets you do anything. So you can teach and you can work as a translator and anything in between that, working in an international business kind of setting or working as a programmer, everything falls under that category. I'm gonna take a different way home today. I took the river path out today, but I'm kind of sick of that path because I actually, so when I first got here, I learned my mistake the last time. There's a counseling section down at the bottom and then there's a section upstairs where you get your ticket number to wait in line until they call your number. Last time I went to counseling first and then I got my number and I had to wait hours. So this time I went and got my number first, then I went to counseling so I could wait there while I was getting my counseling. In the counseling section, they said my application was almost perfect but I was missing one signature on one page from the company. Um, I need the company seal and I need a company representative signature. I had it on another page for the company documents but you needed it on another one as well. So I actually decided to ride to my new company and it was about a 20 kilometer ride over there, 20 kilometers back, so an extra 40K. In addition to my 40K this morning, so I'm at already about 80K today and it's all on the river pass. So I'm gonna go back through the city roads because it's still a little early. The one good thing though about having to do that, I didn't have to wait in immigration for two hours until they called my number. So by the time I came back and had the signature ready to go, it was already past me. They actually, they passed me by like 50 people. So I just went up to the front of the line. I'm like, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit late. And they let me go. So they took everything. There didn't seem to be any problems. I should be getting my new visa in about two weeks to a month is what they said. So crossing my fingers. Uh, I've got my lobster gloves today, so I can't actually cross my fingers right now. But hoping that everything will go good with my new visa. And yeah, I'll update you guys really soon on my new job. It's kind of still a little bit secret-ish right now. Some people know, and some people have guessed correctly in the comments. I'll leave that as my hint. I'll be announcing it publicly pretty soon, so just a little bit longer. Over here is pretty cool. The immigration center is actually right by the Keiba, which sounds kind of similar to Kadeen. Kadeen is for the like gambling track riders. Keiba is for the gambling horses. So. Rin, Rin is connected to bicycles and Ba means horse. So K Rin and K Ba, two popular gambling activities in Japan. Actually, the horse gambling is not too popular. You don't see these too often. Oh, odd bike. And uh, another pretty exciting thing, while I was in immigration, after I submitted all my papers, I was ready to go, but I wanted to take a little break, so I ate some snacks and I was just eating in the little rest area where they have some tables. And this guy came up to me and he started talking to me. He's like, you're Cruz, right? I watch your channel. I'm like, no way. I was not in the mood for this. I'm like dead, I'm low on energy. I hadn't really eaten much of anything today. And I'm just eating some beef jerky and this guy comes up to me, I'm not ready at all. And that was pretty exciting. So didn't expect someone to recognize me at immigration. That just shows that this channel's growing. And yeah, it's really exciting. Really happy to hear when people come up and say like they like the channel and stuff like that. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. Going back to the earlier part, the earlier theme of today's video, the new bag. Loving this thing, it's super convenient. It's fully loaded right now. I brought my laptop thinking I would have like two or three hours to get some work done. I didn't end up getting to use it because I had to go ride and back and get that signature. But it is some good experience to get used to the bag for my regular commute going forward. And yeah. I've been riding with this thing for about three hours today so far, so it's starting to get a little bit heavy. So there's nothing against the bag right there, but for the first hour, I felt no discomfort at all. And yeah, this thing, I'm excited to see how it performs over the next few months. We'll be testing it out. I'm curious how it'll perform. It's really comfortable right now because it's cold right now and it's helped keeping me warm actually. But I'm curious how this thing performs over the summer months. Once it starts getting super hot, super humid, we'll see. I'll make another update video later maybe. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I'm gonna ride home, hopefully get some more food. We'll see you next time here on Tuba Cruise. It actually started raining on my ride back, so pretty glad I have this bag right now. <laughs>